everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can customize your Commerce HQ store theme by going in and either building your own from scratch or choosing one of the pre-made selected themes from the theme store. So before we do anything we need to log into Commerce HQ and get to our dashboard. So what we need to do is go up to the top menu and press the button that says dashboard with the three lines on top of each other. Go down to all tools and then from this list we go all the way to the right under store setup we go to themes. So right now we've got one theme in our library and here we have the options to build a new theme or go to the theme store. So before I show you anything I'm going to show you that you can go in and build a new theme through one of two ways. So you can name it here this is just going to be test and you can either do it visually so you'll have a visual editor that you can choose different assets from and start adding them to your site or you can go in and manually code your stores theme from scratch. So I'm not going to show you how to do that just yet. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the visual builder by using a different theme in just a second. But if you're a really good wizard with HTML, you can really go in and have some fun with this and really do your own thing. So again, I'm going to go back and we're going to go to the theme store. In the theme store, you're going to have a few different options. Okay, so once you dodge all of the Lightning McQueens, apparently, you have a couple of different options that you can choose from to use as your base when you want to customize your themes. So I'm just going to choose one of these and add it to my library. And again, this is the theme we started with, so we have the option of these two. So now that we've added a theme to our library, we can go back to themes and see it right here. So I'm going to say we can use this theme and now this is our active theme that we can now go in and edit. So once you press edit this is going to load up the visual builder and you're going to have all of these tools on the side at your disposal to really go nuts with your customization options. So. So as you can see, there's a lot of stock stuff right here. So this is a photo that we can change later. These are actual products in my store. Um, but this is going to be like a base on what your store will look like to incoming customers. So if we want to go in and change this, we can just click on it very easily. And then we can add a different image by pressing Add and Edit Images. Uh, we can just change it like that. So we can go into our menu up here and start changing the name of different things. You can click it. You can then link it to different things. So if you don't even want to bring somebody to your homepage, I don't know why you would want to do that. You can just take that away. You can add different buttons to the menu. You can change your header up here. This is going to show up on every page. But yeah, so but yeah, so here you can add text, you can add headings, which is going to be bigger text body text, heading and text if you want to have a paragraph with a large title on the top. Just you've got a bunch of different options. You can just add themes, sliders, thumbnails, videos. Dividers is going to break up your page into different segments. You can add icons, buttons, a navigation menu that can bring you to different forms. It can bring you to different pages on your site. You can make a new form like an order form or a contact form. Just, there's so many options in here for you to go nuts with. If you take some time to really go through this and start making this your own, you're going to take this base theme that you can get from the store and really turn it into something that is unique to you and your store. And doing that is going to really set you apart from other competitors who maybe just use the base themes and don't take the time to design and really set up an online presence that stands out. So I highly recommend going in and changing your theme. Take some time, maybe an afternoon or a couple of days, and really just focus in 
and design something really awesome. And then, of course, when you're done, you can press publish, and everything will be set. As long as it says good to go, it will say your theme is published. Now, if there's an error, it will show up in here, and you can go in and amend that. And last thing I want to show you is, at the top right here, you can design individual themes for your customers' different devices. So this is the tablet one, if they're looking on an iPad or an Android tablet. And here will be how it looks on mobile. Now, this isn't going to show up like this. This is going to be from top to bottom. Uh, when they scroll, this is going to be the entirety of what they see. This one very narrow piece will not show up at once, I promise. So this has been a very brief overview of how Commerce HQ themes work and how the tools you can use can really help you set apart your online store from your competitors. So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. If you never want to miss one of our videos, you can always press the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss an upload. And lastly, leave a comment down below requesting some video ideas you want me to cover next. Uh, some things that you keep running into, things that I can explain more thoroughly. I'd be happy to make some videos if you want. So until next time, I've been Riley with Dropified. Have a great rest of your day.